Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I made from the um, Honey Bee paper that's free in Celebration. And you get all these beautiful papers free. As you can see I've been chopping into this. There's black spots on the white spot, sorry. And then you've got a flower and you've got a lovely gold. Here is the honeybees and some flowers and on the opposite side is like a honeycomb. Gold embossed honeycomb. This one is just a it's not a gingham, it's just a checkered one and on the opposite side of that is the paper we're going to use. There's the honeybees again with the top. Oh, we're on. Oh no. I've seen that one. This is just the flowers with like a diagonal stripe, dotted stripe embossed in gold. And we've had that one, the bee with the flowers. Oh no, we haven't. And on the back of that is black and white striped. So it's really nice paper for free in celebration, so I thought I'd use it. I haven't got the stamp set yet. My daughter's buying it me for my birthday, which will come next week. By the time you've seen this, I would have used it a hundred times. But so to make this card, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished I have two pieces of white cardstock one for the front and one for the back uh, back inside what did I put inside nothing apart from a bit of paper then I have a piece of foil gold foil card measuring four and three quarters by four inches and I have a bit of the DSP measuring four and three quarters by four inches. I have also cut out the bees, I cut them out by hand, which are quite easy to cut out. Then what I did, I cut out a piece of card to go on top of them. There is actually dies to go with this set, which I'm getting. So, you know, you don't have to cut them by hand. And I believe the dies will fit the paper and maybe cut them a little bit better. For the happy birthday on this is a die I've got. I think it's a spellbinder's die. It's gold, so it's a spellbinder's die. I cut out five white ones. I don't know if you can see how thick they are. And a gold one. I stuck them all together. But then I went to cut another one for the card we're going to make. And I thought I would try... I have some. Let me get it. Some stick it, a big sheet of stick it um, dimensional foam pad, double sided foam sheets, an A4 sheet. So I cut a square off and I cut out the word happy birthday with it, cut a gold one and stuck it together so that will give me the same dimension as the five stuck together. I will admit it wasn't easy doing it, but I did do it. So that's what I've got. So to start with, we will glue this to this, leaving a nice border, which will sit on there. So let's glue. And I'm only doing around the edges. 
I think I've done the wrong way. Don't matter. We'll have our... Oh no. Yeah, I've done it the wrong way, so we'll have our points took in that way. Right, what you want to do is place it on your card till your top corners are covered. And that's how it is. And then we'll stick our happy birthday this side. No problem. Right, so what we'll do, we'll stick this onto our card. Right, we want that corner covered. And what we will do, turn it over. I don't want to get glue on these bits because I'm going to use them bits. There we are. Turn it over so you've got the back facing you and trim off the edge without trying to cut your white piece of card. And then you place that on your card base, like that. So, let's do that. Now with these, what I want to do is place this in the corner of the inside piece like I did there. But what I'm going to do is cut this down a bit. Place that in there, and then that will just sit inside the inside. A nice little, just a bit of decoration, really. Just glue two sides of it and place it on, leaving a border. Now if that's too much, which I think it is, just trim it down a little bit more. And then we'll glue that to the bottom corner, bottom right hand corner, can you see, yeah. Just to decorate the inside really. stick this inside.
Right, with this happy birthday, all I'm going to do is peel it off. It did have um, backing on it, but um, I took it off by mistake because I'm an idiot. Right, now try and stick this. The dye itself is not a straight dye, it's a, I call it, hid, hid, what did I call it? A hiddly piddly stamp, where the letters don't all, it's not meant to be straight. And that bee's meant to be straight though. Obviously, if you're going to make this card, you can put whatever happy birthday you want on it. That bee just doesn't want to sit straight. Right. Now, with the bees, like I said, I cut round them on a white piece. So what I'm going to do is just glue... them to a white piece of card. They weren't really that easy to cut these bees. I will be honest with you. They were a bit... I don't think I cut that one with this bee. Never mind, it's on there now. I've got another big B. And I cut out a tiny B. Right, to put these on the card, I actually use dimensionals. So, let me find me. There they are. Now I put three on each big B, one on each wing, and one in the middle. You know what, I never ordered dimensionals in my last order. And I'm going to run out soon. I will just have to use my own. Right, and just one big one in the middle of the little bee. This big one can go there. And then this one can go there. There we have it. How to make a card out of using DSP and a die. 
and this would be a lot easier when my dies come to cut more bees hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my um, videos please subscribe um, and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of many more videos I upload which is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday so all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon